happy Boxing Day. I hope everyone had an amazing Christmas. Just to bring you up to speed really quickly, if you don't know, I, so normally I just like do a video on like a Wednesday and a Sunday, but because it's Christmas, I thought it would be quite fun to do a video every day between Christmas and New Year's Day. So that's what I'm gonna be doing, that's why you've seen me twice this week already. Okay, I'm gonna show you some of the stuff that I got given yesterday, uh, like that I was fortunate enough to get for Christmas. Some of it you may have seen, because I vlogged the whole of yesterday. If you want to see what Christmas Day was like in the Shohet household, go and check that video out. I'll link to it at the end. Pretty much we got left in charge of cooking the Christmas dinner and 11 people came in the end. So it meant getting up at six in the morning to put the turkey in. It was just really, really tiring. And I'll be honest, I loved doing that vlog, but I was editing that at like eight, nine o'clock at night. I was so tired. I was like, why did I say I do this? Like. If it's not bad enough to actually say you're gonna go and cook Christmas dinner, then you wanna go and film the whole thing and have to edit it, and like that can take some time. But anyway, I love doing it. And so many of you have given good feedback and that you, you enjoyed it, and that's what I wanted it to be. I wanted it to be like something you could get involved in. But anyway, I'm gonna start with stuff that David got me. And again, if you saw that vlog, some of this you may have seen, but I wanted to do like more close-ups of it. So, David and I went to Harrods a couple of weeks ago, or a week ago and I picked what's in this. I bought him something, he bought me something. So this is what I picked, and this is like the wrapper that it comes in. Is that the right way up? No, that's it, okay. This is a pair of shoes. This is my first pair of Louis Vuitton shoes ever. Yeah, ever. And they come in this. I was really impressed actually with the packaging. It, the packaging really is everything with this. It makes it look awesome. So this is the shoe. I really wanted some like funky kind of trainers. And so I picked these and check them out. Okay, so they, they're kind of like, they've got a combination of textures on them. They've got kind of like patent going on there. They've got this like gold plaque at the back that's got Louis Vuitton written on it. And on the inside, on like the tongue bit, it's got the Louis Vuitton logo in gold. What's really cool about these, and you, I'm, I'm gonna be struggling to show you it, but there is a wedge inside. So actually, you would think that your heel, when you put your foot in it, you would think that your heel would be there. Actually, it's kind of about there. You can take that out though, the lady said. Let me see if I can do it and then show you. So that, that is the insole and then that goes inside. So if you want a bit of extra height, you can wear that, but otherwise the... I'm quite surprised actually, like without that in there, that's got like the Louis Vuitton mot motif on it. And without that in there, it doesn't actually have anything written on it at all, which is a bit weird. Like you would imagine that they'd put the logo on twice in case you don't want that, but that goes in there. These were, they were quite expensive. These were 485 pounds. The sizing, they actually come up way, 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 way big. I'm normally a 39 and a half, and I actually took, I think this is a 38. There's nothing written on it, but I'm pretty sure this is a 38. I couldn't believe it. She brought out a 39 and a half, and she put them on the floor for me to try, and I was like, wow, they look massive. She was like, oh yeah, they do come up a bit big, and I put them on, and I was like, a bit big? They're like two sizes too big and she kept bringing out more and more sizes. Is this a, yeah, it is a 38. So if you wanna try this on, or if you're gonna buy it over the internet, just bear in mind that they come up very big and you would wanna, I went down like a whole size and a half and the, and I probably could have gone down again, like, but I was like, oh, I might wanna wear these with thicker socks kind of thing. When I picked these, I had gone to look at the Chanel trainers, you know the ones that have got the rainbow kind of sole on them? Went and had a look at them, but I, you know what, I hate, one of the things that I really hate, and it's probably not just me, it's probably loads of people, but you know how you end up liking things that if you were really honest with yourself, if it didn't have a certain brand mark on it, you would never wear it. Like I, I'm like that with the Chanel Espadrilles. I don't actually think those shoes look that amazing. I bought them, and I'm not afraid to say it, I bought them because of the CCs on the front. I like the look of that. I think that it kind of makes an outfit look more expensive and that's why I bought them. But would I buy them if they didn't have that on? 
Probably not, right? So when I went into Chanel, I looked at the Chanel ones and I thought to myself, I really like the Nike Fears. I like the, the, the kind of outline shape of that shoe. And I was, and, and the kind of Chanel ones are like a little bit like 1990s trainers, like with that big thick sole, which I wouldn't, that's not the sort of style of trainer that I would normally go for. And I said to myself, I was like, if it didn't have this, the Chanel mark on the side of it, would you wear them? And I was like, hell no, I wouldn't. The other two things that David got me, I was totally surprised by. He turns out that he got them another time, like, because, because we've just moved house and there's been so many bills to pay for and stuff, I wasn't expecting anything else. But he went and got me some stuff from Ralph Lauren. And this was one of them. This is like a sl slouchy t-shirt that's got in like neon pink, the design on the front of it. And it's got quite a low scoop neck. This, I, I love this. This is like so me. I... I like to wear kind of like loose fit, not baggy, but I like to wear kind of like loose fitting clothes. I do like tight clothes as well sometimes, but I just feel more com confident in this. So like I would wear this with like skinny jeans and then you've got the slimness of the leg against like an oversized kind of bagginess on top. So I really like that. And then he also got me to go with it, this neon pink hoodie, which is also from Ralph Lauren. It is like, again, it's like so me. I really enjoy it. Like I work out quite a lot, not recently, but normally. And this is like totally the sort of thing that I would, I would wear this going to the gym, going for a walk, even like when I'm working at home and I want to be kind of comfy but still look kind of like cute and this is like a really nice design it's got two pockets on the front it's got a zip down the middle there and there's like nothing on the back it's just an awesome color and he was like oh yeah I could see you like wearing that oh underneath that so this is a Christian Louboutin lipstick I already have I think maybe two or three but and, I'm, and I've been meaning to review them, but the reason why I've been holding off and there, is there was one that I wanted to get that I wanted to include in the review, and it's this. This is the Rouge Le Boutin in the matte, the red colour, and it comes in this box. And as I say, I've got, I've got pretty much the other ones that I wanted to review, but this one looked amazing when I saw it in the pictures. Second thing, I'm really excited about this. You know I did that video the, a couple of videos ago and it was on uh, designer items that you can buy that are under £250. This was an item that I spoke about in that video and I didn't own it but I really wanted to get it. And I'd gone, the reason, and I said to you at the time, I was like I'd gone to buy it and I didn't because it had sold out. What I ended up doing is I phoned up Harrods, they had it and then I paid over the phone and they posted it to me and this arrived on Christmas Eve. If I can even undo it. Come on! It's from Burberry, as you can see. Burberry, by the way, like I feel like they've suddenly got really good. I, I went off Burberry because a few years back, you know how like there was, everyone was wearing that, that like Nova check pattern and it was just really too much. But now I think they've kind of like, they've sorted it out. Um, so what I got was in this box, It's the little teddy bear charm. And I, I really wanted it in this color. This color is called Ash Rose from memory. And it's got gold hardware on the top, which I'm just gonna show you what it looks like on a bag. Uh, hang on. So that's the kind of size of it there. And I quite like that. I think that's really, really sweet. This comes in loads of different colors, guys, and it's only 95 pounds. I say only, but as designer charms go, I think that's pretty good. Like, you go into Louis Vuitton, you can be spending like over 200 pounds for a handbag charm, and I think that is really, really sweet and nice. And as I say, it comes in like loads of different colors, and I could just, I'll, I'll like add that to so many different bags or whatever, just to get like a different look. I think that is really, really cute. And it's also, you know what guys, it's so soft. It's really soft and it's got like a little suede bow around its neck. Now I've got it, I'm like, I so recommend to anyone who's into the handbag charms or if you just want to kind of like get yourself something that's designer that's not going to break the bank, this is a really good item. In my next video tomorrow, I think I'm going to be doing a bit of a handbag review tomorrow but it could also go another way. I might do a fashion one because I have not for ages now, I haven't done a video about fashion and like clothing and cut the kind of thing that I like to wear and just kind of showing you because it might give you some ideas because I do not spend my money on clothes I spend my money 
on like designer items, accessories to make my clothing look more expensive. But I've got a few like tips and tricks that I can share with you that you might enjoy. So tune in tomorrow if you're interested in that. If you if I have left you wanting some more, go and check out the video that's going to be up here or here. Thank you.